France willing to discuss using nuclear warheads to protect European Union from Russia. French President Emmanuel Macron is ready to discuss the idea of using nuclear warheads to protect the European Union. Macron met with 12 young Europeans aged 19 to 26 and answered questions of interest and concern to young people. During the meeting, they touched upon the issue of France's readiness to Europeanize its nuclear deterrent. We have a form of defense, NATO. We must go further and build a reliable European defense. This may mean deploying missile shields, but we must be sure that they block all missiles and deter the use of nuclear energy. Being credible also means having long-range missiles to deter the Russians, the president said. He also explained that the French doctrine is that a country can use its nuclear weapons when its vital interests are threatened. I am in favor of opening this debate, which should therefore include missile defense, long-range weapons, nuclear weapons for those who have them or who have American nuclear weapons on their territory. Macron said he proposed to put on the table everything that the European Union countries have and see what would really provide them with reliable protection. France will retain its specificity but is ready to make a greater contribution to the defense of European soil, he concluded. Earlier, France proposed to create a European Union Rapid Reaction Force to protect the people of Europe. According to French Armed Forces Minister Sébastien Lecornu, they will perform tasks that NATO is incompetent at. Lecornu stated that there are numerous crises where NATO is not competent and where France often conducts operations alone. We must be able to quickly create these forces to ensure the security of European citizens in Portugal, Italy, Germany and France, he said. He also clarified that there are missions that are militarized but about which NATO should not know for various reasons. The minister cited last year's evacuation of citizens from Sudan as an example and added that France was practically alone in this matter. Putin is a little man who is terrified of losing power. Author of the Magnitsky Act. American-born businessman Bill Browder, author of the Magnitsky Act that has been sanctioning Russian officials in 2016, has also authored two best-selling books, Red Notice and Freezing Order. According to the Kiev Post, media outlet, pulling no punches, Browder explains the psychopathy and depravity that make up the character of Russian dictator Vladimir Putin. What motivates the Russian autocrat? Browder argues that Putin is a little man who has stolen too much money, who is terrified of losing power. If he loses power, he will go to jail, lose his money and die. So you've this little money who is scared of losing his life. So what does Putin do? He creates a foreign enemy. That is what the Ukrainian invasion is all about. Browder warns that despite heroic efforts, Ukraine can still lose the war if the West backs away from its commitments to the besieged nation. What would come next? 
Browder argues that Putin cannot back down or not begin an invasion of Europe. Putin's ability to survive, having stolen hundreds of billions from his own people, depends on him being able to portray himself as a war president keeping his nation safe. Browder's gripping interview lays bare how sick the Putin regime really is while highlighting the clear and present threat it poses to the collective West. Speaking to the Kiev Post, Browder discussed his long history with Putin, his view of the war in Ukraine and what he feels it will take to see a new public uprising in Russia. My first encounter with Putin and his criminality was all around the Magnitsky story. I had a lawyer named Sergei Magnitsky. Sergei discovered a massive Russian government corruption scheme that involved stealing $230 million of taxes that I paid from the Russian government, Browder said. Sergei and I exposed the fraud. Sergei was in Russia. I was abroad. I was living in London. And then they arrested, tortured and killed Sergei. Browder was surprised that Putin didn't care about the money being stolen, that instead he cared about Sergei exposing the people who stole it. Putin was sort of participating in the cover-up of the murder, Browder said. That's when it became obvious to me that Putin was a criminal. His level of depravity has increased over time. He's always been a sort of psychopathic, depraved individual, but also been sort of a little man who lacked confidence, Browder said. Browder noted that ultimately he views Putin as a financial criminal. He and the people around him stole a trillion dollars from the Russian state. I say that as somebody who's researched that with great effort over a long period of time. That money should have been spent on hospitals, schools, roads and other public services. Instead, it was spent on yachts, private jets, villas and all sorts of stuff like that.